Are you there, Charlie Bear? Charlie? Oh, will you help me call him? Are you there, Charlie Bear? There you are, Charlie. What are you making out of that bendy pipe cleaner? Oh, a duck. I mean, a fish. A carrot is what I meant. No? Uh, ah, it's a circle, which could be an orange, or a sun, or a football, or a dinner plate, or a... Aha! It's a basketball hoop! I knew it. It's, I was going to say that. Or, mm. Basketball can take a while to learn, Charlie. OK. Time to try and get the ball in the hoop. Oh, unlucky, Charlie. But you'll get it in next time. Hmm. Next time, Charlie, you can do it. Not to worry, Charlie. You'll get better with practice. And then when you do get the ball in the hoop, it'll make you feel so good. It just might take a little time, that's all. Uh, that didn't seem right, Charlie. Why don't you practice doing it properly? It'll be a lot more fun that way. But isn't it boring getting it in every time without even really trying? You think it's fun, OK. Wow! A real basketball court, Charlie. That's a real proper basketball. And you're wearing real basketball boots too. Are you ready to play? Hey, Midge is ready to play basketball as well. Ah, it's going to be one-on-one -on -one basketball, Charlie. You versus Midge. Are you both ready? OK. Oh, Midge seems to know what he's doing. You'll have to be good to get past him, Charlie. Oh, good move, Charlie. Shot, Charlie Bear. You leapt up and blocked Midge's shot. That's incredible. Uh, amazing. <laughs> Where did you learn how to play like that? You're a super basketball expert, Charlie. You really are. Oh, Midge got you that time, Charlie. Go, Midge! Good luck, Midge. You'll have to get a lot closer to take a shot, Charlie. You can't get it in from there. No one could get it in from there. Whoa! How did you do that? You were absolutely miles away. <laughs> Oh, good shot. Oh, and another one. And another one. And another. Well, there's a surprise. It's like you can't even miss the hoop anymore, Charlie. Oh, 
This is just ridiculous. It's too easy now, isn't it? It's got so boring. Mitch is asleep. And even you are not having much fun now, are you, Charlie? Oh, don't give up, Charlie. Practice takes time, remember? And when you do get it in, you'll feel so good because you got better by practicing at it. Hooray! Well done, Charlie Bear. You earned that, Charlie. I'm so proud of you. It's amazing what you can do with your imagination. <laughs> Bye-bye, little Charlie Bear. Bye-bye, everybody. Are you there, Charlie Bear? Charlie? Oh. Will you help me call him? Ready? Are you there, Charlie Bear? Hello, Charlie. I like that walk you're doing. Are you pretending to be a duck with sore feet? No. Then are you, um, a, a robot learning how to rollerblade? No? Oh. Then... Oh! Oh, you're not wiping your muddy feet on the floor, are you? That's good. I didn't think you'd do that. Ah, I see. You were pretending that you're a train. Do you want to be a train driver? Great! You're going to give all your friends a train ride. Oh, the train isn't big enough to take them all, is it? But why don't you just take some of them on, a few at a time? I'm not sure that that is going to work. The train is just too small for them all, Charlie. And it's too small for you, too. Charlie? You're not giving up, are you, Charlie? Oh, you look strange, Charlie. It was your reflection. And wow, what a train! It's amazing, Charlie. And you're wearing a hat, so you must be the train driver. Now all you need is some passengers, Charlie. Are there no passengers anywhere to come aboard your train? Charlie? Are you OK? Oh, that's nice. Midge would never leave you behind, Charlie. <laughs> and you're all set to go, train driver Charlie. <laughs> all aboard! <laughs> Charlie, wait for Midge. Charlie, can you hear me? Charlie! He left Mitch behind and he has no idea that he's done it. Charlie! You have to go back! Mitch is at the station! Mitch is not on board the train. Can you hear me? You have to go back to the station. Poor Mitch. He 
This is terrible. I have to try and warn Charlie somehow. <laughs> Charlie just can't hear me. The train is too loud. <laughs> I tried to tell you, Charlie, but you couldn't hear me. You left Midge behind. That's okay. It was just an accident. Why don't you take Midge on a train ride now? Yeah? All aboard! <laughs> oh, Charlie, you clever, clever, lovely bear. You're letting Midge be the train driver. Midge, Charlie. It's amazing what you can do with your imagination. I love your train, Charlie. Are all your friends aboard? <laughs> Next stop, your imagination. Bye-bye, <laughs> little Charlie Bear. Bye-bye, everybody. It's Charlie's birthday, but I'm pretending I don't know because a birthday cake is going to arrive later and it would be nice if it was a surprise. OK, let's call Charlie. Ready? <clears throat> are you there, Charlie Bear? There you are. What are you making, Charlie? You've cut out a circle. <laughs> It looks like you're making a giant ice cream cone. It's a hat. Oh, nice. Is it a wizard's hat? Then is it a, a party hat? Fantastic. What's the party for? Is it somebody's birthday? Oh, whose birthday is it? Someone behind you? <laughs> Caramel? It's Caramel's birthday! <laughs> oh, sorry. Silly me. You want to keep it a secret from Caramel so we don't ruin the birthday surprise. Don't worry, Charlie. I'll help you put on a surprise birthday party for Caramel. Great. You start and I'll follow. Charlie doesn't suspect a thing. That's a birthday cake for Charlie. Charlie's friends know it's Charlie's birthday as well. They're keeping it a surprise, just like us. here to help set up the party, Charlie. <laughs> I've never seen someone pump up balloons like that before. Niblet and Midge are helping too. Caramel is going to love all these decorations, isn't she, Charlie? <laughs> Niblet doesn't understand why you would want a picture of a bear on the wall. Caramel is a cow. 
Ah, that's better. It looks just like the birthday girl. Poor Charlie. He really does think that we've forgotten, but we haven't, have we? <clears throat> Charlie, why don't you help Bellerina with the party music? No, it's too quiet. Ah, that's just right to dance to. That's it, Charlie. Practice your party dancing with Frozo. Don't you want to dance to ballet music, Charlie? Oh, have you decided to wait for caramel instead? I wonder what it is they can see. <gasps> oh no, it's Caramel. The party isn't ready yet. Quick, Charlie, you'll have to distract her. Don't let her pass, Charlie. Looks like Caramel has given up. It was a trick. She's heading for the party. Surprise! It's your surprise birthday party, Charlie. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, little Charlie Bear. <laughs> It's amazing what you can do with your imagination. Happy birthday, Charlie. We haven't forgotten. We would never forget your birthday. We love you too, Charlie. Bye-bye, Charlie Bear. Bye-bye, everybody. Are you there, Charlie Bear? Charlie? Oh, will you help me call him? Ready? Are you there, Charlie Bear? There you are, Charlie. Hello. Um, Charlie, I can see you. Oh, um, do you want me to look away? OK, then. I guess I'll look at... Bellerina. She doesn't mind us looking at her, does she, Charlie? Um, why are you hiding? Oh, I know. Are you playing hide and seek? You are. Great. And sorry, forgot I was supposed to be looking elsewhere. Very sorry. Mm, looking out the window. Charlie is probably hiding. Yes, he is hiding. I'm sorry, Charlie. I'm not playing hide and seek properly, am I? I'll look away and count to ten. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come. That's a great way to hide yourself, Charlie. But I can still see your nose. <laughs> Do you want to play another game of hide and seek? Oh, what's that? Hey, there's nothing there. Charlie? Charlie? Has he hidden somewhere? That's a big hat, Charlie, and red too. But you won't be able to hide very well wearing that, will you?
clever bear. But who is trying to find you? Ah, Bellarina is playing hide and seek with you, Charlie. Oh, maybe Bellarina has worked out where you're hiding. I think you did it, Charlie. Oh, you should have stayed hidden. Another game of hide and seek. Yay! That's too thin to hide behind, Charlie. to be completely covered to hide, Charlie. That hiding place didn't even stay still. Quick, Charlie, Bellerina is coming. Charlie, just because you can't see Bellerina, it doesn't mean that she can't see you! Oh. <laughs> what, Charlie? You're not giving up playing hide-and-seek, are you? You're good at hiding. Try again. Go on. <laughs> oh, dear. The same colour as the paper you coloured in before, Charlie. You know, the one you hid in front of. You're playing one more game of hide and seek? Good for you, Charlie. I knew you didn't want to give up. Not really. to hide your nose. You did it, Charlie. You hid perfectly. <laughs> Well done, Charlie Bear. It's amazing what you can do with your imagination. Bye-bye, little Charlie Bear. Bye-bye, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>